This is Sports Drive. Welcome back into Sports Drive once again. I'm your host, Preston Moore. Now, I mentioned earlier in the show, we would be joined by a former West Texas A&M buff who's making some big waves in the Canadian Football League lately. Sergio Castillo joins the show now live, all-time points leader for WT. Sergio, thanks for coming on the show. Really appreciate it. I appreciate you guys having me. It's, uh, it's a little gloomy, rainy day here for Canada Day, so it's uh, just enjoying the, the day off here with the family, but glad to be here with you guys. Absolutely. Well, it may be uh, gloomy out there right now, but it certainly wasn't gloomy uh, two days ago because you set a new franchise record uh, for the Winnipeg Blue Bombers in the CFL and kicked, no pun intended, kicked a bomb from 60 yards out. Talk to me about this, uh, this field goal, 60-yard field goal, longest in franchise history. What does this uh, accomplishment, mean, accomplishment mean to you personally? Uh, you know, the it, it didn't hit me till you know till actually today, a couple of days after the game. You know, we were a little 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 bummed, you know, with the with the overtime loss, and uh, you know, uh, this weekend, three out of the four games came down to game winners. So uh, with field goal kickers, so uh, we had a big uh, uh, a big say in this weekend. Uh, but like you said, with the with the sixty yarder, you know, uh, initially it was a fifty five, but we jumped offside. So I wasn't sure. Th- our coach was going to give me the go with the 60 and, you know, I signaled him, Hey, give me the shot, which uh, I've practiced many times where in the off season, I practice, you know, I'm in the, in the, you know, in the middle schools or high schools or WT. And I, I imagine I'm talking to someone if there's nobody there in the sideline, uh, like, Hey, get, l- let me give me this shot. So it, it felt like I was like, like I had been there already. Right. So, uh, just very fortunate where, you know, Coach Osh gave me the shot and, you know, had a great smooth operation with uh, the snap and hold. And, you know, we ended up uh, kicking a field goal of, you know, 60 yards for his big three points because at the end we we ended, uh, ended up tying for the touchdown to it overtime. Yeah, absolutely. Is there any piece of you as a kicker when you do have, when you see that offsides call, happen you know it's about to be 55 yards offsides happens mm-hmm. is there any piece of you that's like okay now I might I might get a chance to try for try for 60 here do you get a, <laughs> is there any part of you that gets a little bit excited I know you don't want to, there's no point there's no no uh, penalty that you want to get excited for ever in football mm-hmm. but as the kicker personally especially knowing this could be a franchise record is there any part of you in the very back of your mind that's like hey th- this is this could be a moment here yeah um I, I did I uh I knew it could be a moment. I didn't know it was a franchise record, uh, but just just to have an opportunity to kick a uh, you know a long field goal like that in a tense situation, uh, I was just ready for it. Right? That's as a kicker, you, that's uh, you want to be ready and you want those big moments, right? So to help uh, the team out at any point. So I was just you know 55, and you know we hit it, and I was just like, man, I hope coach doesn't opt out to punt. And when he gave me the go. I was like, all right, it's, it's go time, it's show time. So, like I said, uh, I was pumped, I was ready for it, and uh, just fortunate, you know, that uh, through all the hard work in the off season, the mental reps, the physical reps, the technical reps, uh, the ball went in. So, when did you hear that this was the the franchise record? You mentioned it; you didn't know at the time. So, when mm-hmm. when who told you, and where were you when you learned that you had set the new franchise record? So uh, Darren, who who works with the uh, with our team, he he's part of the communication staff, and he came up to me probably about a couple minutes after that. He's like, "Hey, just letting you know that was a that was a franchise uh, record, and it's the second longest in CFL history, and the longest is 63 yards." So um, yeah, that's when I was told, and then um, you know after the game, you know I was uh, given that ball too, so that'll be going up in um, in my man cave back in uh, back home in Amarillo. <laughs> How exciting, man! That's really, really cool. You mentioned you've you've hit that kick at practice before, so when you get the chance to do it in a game, mm-hmm. I would imagine that it's that it's an exhilarating feeling because, you know, even as a fan, for those of us who watch football, which is pretty much everybody who watches this show, I would imagine, uh, we are often disappointed when the coach trots out a punter on a kick in a distance that we feel like a kicker could make. So as a kicker, I would imagine mm-hmm. when you get the go-ahead, I would imagine it's even more exhilarating, even more exciting uh, than for the fans, obviously, that you get the chance to, to get it in. And especially if you knew in that, if you knew from 
prior experience in practice, you've hit it before. Yeah, you know, the uh, I hit the 55 and the, and the juices were flowing. I'm like, please, God, just give, give me the go. Hopefully he gives me the go. And uh, but everything, you know, just slow down for me. You know, I took my two deep breaths and uh, I literally as I'm taking my second step to the left. I'm like, uh, in my faith in your will, God, you know, this ball will go in. Right. So it's like it's, um, you know, a lot of people credit me, but it's just like for me, it's my, my faith has been a big, big thing for me. You know, there's a lot of moments throughout the game where I'm just, you know, because we all have mental, you know, we have doubts. Right. And, you know, throughout the quarter, because it was a very windy game. Uh, just just keep relying on my faith, on my Bible verses. And uh, like I said, just very fortunate that I, I got to go to kick the 60-yarder. And uh, when I kicked it, you know, the, the whole stadium, uh, you know, we were playing away in Calgary. Um, you know, they, they, they started cheering for me, which I thought was pretty cool. Yeah, how, how special is that? How many times in your career have you had an away stadium cheering for you for a kick like that? Yeah, it, it's actually, yeah, there's been, uh, I, I recall two times only this one. And then when I was a junior in high school, uh, right before the halftime in the fourth round of the playoffs, I kicked a 58 yarder and, uh, yeah, we're playing an opposing team stadium and, uh, you know, the crowd stood up. So it just, uh, it shows that, you know, that, you know, people appreciate moments like this, right. And obviously, cause I'm so into the game, I didn't really know what, how much it meant. Right. And then, you know, after 48 hours, I'm able to, you know, decompose, you know, from the game, the loss. And it's just like, you know what we well, what we were able to accomplish was uh, something really, really amazing, not just for me, but, you know, for my family, my friends that have been through me with my journey through the ups and downs. And as I was telling my wife, you know, I wrote her a letter after the game. I'm like, you know, this is not only a win for me, but it's a win for all of us. And I appreciate you because you have been through the through the thick and thin, right? When I missed three field goals against the Seattle Seahawks, you know, and I was giving you a call, I'm like, hey, I'm more than likely getting cut, get the bags packed to, you know, to experiencing the highs uh, of football, which is like, you know, uh, record setting like this. So it's, uh, and, you know, I just appreciate everything, everyone that's been there. You know, I was talking with my mom. It's just like, we're remembering the times when I started playing football for the first time as a sophomore in high school. I was in band as well. And to find time to kick and do f- uh, band practice she would drop me every day at 6 30 6 45 in the morning so I could do band practice in the in the afternoon so it's just all those little moments where people invested in me uh you know it's just it, it goes a long way and I and I appreciate those people absolutely and that kind of leads into my next question before we let you go here Sergio when you look back at your entire career so far where does that kick rank? Where does this rank in terms of, or in, really not just in terms of kicks in your career, but in terms mm-hmm. of moments throughout your career as a football player? Moment. Where does where does that where does that rank? Uh, you know, wow, I hadn't I hadn't thought about it, but I would say, you know, it has to definitely be top three, and you know, I think that I would say. I would say second or th- second or third. The first one would have to be the the 55 yarder that I hit with the New York Jets uh, when we we're playing in Kansas City, and it was you know the coach was like yelling punt, and I asked Coach Boyer, the special teams coach, I'm like, well, I didn't ask him. I'm like, hey, let's kick it, and he gave me the go. So, it, so I would say that would be number one, and then uh, this would probably be number two, and the third one would be uh, the 45 yarder that I hit. Uh, in the great cup a couple of years ago to take the the go ahead lead for for the Winnipeg Blue Bombers as well. Absolutely. So many uh, special moments, so many things to, to look back on in an illustrious career. And we certainly wish you nothing more, uh, but more illustrious career on the way, more great kicks for the rest of the season. It's a long season, and you guys are only four games in. Still have yes. uh, about 17 games to go, so I'm sure that we'll, we'll have you back on the show yes. at some point over the course of this season to talk a little bit about what's going on up there in Winnipeg. Uh, Sergio, once again, congratulations on the accomplishment. Spectacular, spectacular thing. The new franchise franchise leader, franchise record holder uh, for the longest kick in Winnipeg Blue Bombers history. Second longest in CFL history. What a what an amazing accomplishment. Sergio, once again, thanks for coming on the show. Thank you so much for having me. Go Buffs. Absolutely. We'll be right back with more Sports Drive right after this break.